Hi everyone, welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. I'm Melissa and in today's video I'm sharing with you four dollar store DIYs. This is a follow-up to my Tuesday Dollar Tree haul video and let's go ahead and get started with the first project. So for this project I'm starting with three of the metal bottle caps. I'm going to cut off the hanging twine portions. I'm going to turn them over because I will be using the inside of the bottle caps for this project. Next I'm going to take a wooden ruler and peel off the measurements. I'm going to apply hot glue to the middle first and place one of the bottle caps right in the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing on each side, making sure to kind of work within the grooves of the bottle cap, that way they sit nicely together. And really all I'm doing here is just creating that base for my uh, display. It's definitely optional, but I wanted them to make sure they stay all together for this project. So I did it. Otherwise, you can just separate these, um, your preference. So now I'm going to take some white rocks and fill up the bottom portion of this clear mason jar. And then put the tea light lid back on and then set that aside. With the west the west <laughs> with the rest of my white rocks I'm gonna fill in both sides of those uh, other bottle caps there now I'm gonna take a pack of these red acrylic gems and pour that into the center bottle cap and then place that mason jar right in the middle and I'm basically just alternating the colors here so with the the red uh, gems and then the white rocks just kind of looks a little bit nicer since I'll be adding those red mason jars into the white rocks. So I'm just going to move the rocks aside to make room for my jars, place the jars right in the middle. Take some of these votive candles and pop those right inside. And then take a tea light candle and place that in the middle of the mason jar. And this is how the project turned out. For this next project, I'm starting with three of these round white candlesticks and some decorative nautical rope. I'm going to measure out how much rope I will need to wrap around the bottom portions of the candlesticks. I'm going to cut out three even sections. And then next I'm just going to apply hot glue to the bottom and begin to wrap my rope around. And just making sure I'm pushing it really tightly against the candlestick as I go. And then where the two ropes meet, just making sure those are squeezed together nicely to give it a even look. And then trim off any of the kind of remaining flyaways <laughs> going on on the rope. And then that is the first base of what I'm making is cupcake stands. So uh, one's a little bit taller than the other. So I'm going to stack two of the candlesticks together for the taller one. So just applying hot glue to the top, adding the third candlestick there. And now where those two candlesticks meet, I'm going to also do the same thing with the third piece of rope and wrap that around and glue it. Trim off any kind of craziness going on there. And now I have my two candlesticks. And now I am once again going to take two bottle caps, remove, uh, oh, not remove, I just cut the... Uh, twine in half and this time I'm just gluing half of the twine to the middle there I'm gonna wrap it a little bit and then go from the other side wrap the other side do the same thing with my other bottle cap as well and this is just going to be the kind of border for these bows I'm gonna make. So where I had glued the sides of the twine together, that's where I'm gonna put my bow, right in the middle where they meet so you won't see it. And hot glue those bows right to the center and then do the same to the other. And this is going to be the top portion of my cupcake stands. So just adding hot glue to the top of the candlesticks now placing them right into the center, holding down to dry. This is the smaller version. And then this is the taller version. And 
Next, I'm going to take these favor boxes from Dollar Tree. Um, everything's from Dollar Tree, by the way. I'm going to cut off the bottoms and then open them and cut where the lines of the box meet and just unfold those. I really loved the scalloped edges on these and the polka dot print. I thought it was kind of very vintage inspired feel. So I'm going to cut off the two larger pieces of the box, which would be the two sides of the box, and just form them into a circle and then hot gluing in the center where those pieces meet. And then these are the parts of the bottoms that I cut off. And if you open them, they make a cute little box. So I thought that would be so cute to make a little cupcake boat. <laughs> so here's how the project turned out. For my third project, I'm starting with some poster board from Dollar Tree. This is just a white lid to one of Dollar Tree's uh, plastic containers. And really I just needed a circle to trace that would be the size I'd want. So I traced it with a red Sharpie, cut out my circle. And now I'm kind of doodling some red waves, just kind of doodling till I get to the correct size that I'm looking for. I cut that out and now I'm going to use my doodle as a trace for my circle. So I'm going to trace that one on the top. I'm going to keep it going in the same direction. Trace another one on the bottom. And now I'm going to take these self-adhesive stickers. I'm going to place them on the top and the bottom. I spelled out ice drinks. Now I'm going to take my red sharpie and just start coloring in the poster board, making sure to go over all of the letters that I put down. What I'm going to be doing is removing the letters once the Sharpie dries and I will be left with white letters. So you guys will see that in just a second. Here I am just coloring in the top and the bottom portions, making sure to cover all of the lettering there. And then the center I wanted it to say cold in black writing. So all I'm doing is using my black Sharpie to spell out the word cold. And then these stencils I'm just going to use as they are. I'm going to stick them right into the middle, kind of curving them up with the design on my label. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and remove the ice and the drink stickers there. You can see they peel off really easily. And now I'm left with that white font that I was looking for. There's something totally satisfying about that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy doing that. Uh, so here's how it looks once it's done. I'm going to take my trusty extra strength glue stick and apply the glue to the back and place that label right into the center of the top of my metal bottle cap. Place down firmly and then now I have my hanging sign. Next I have just this uh, clear white Dollar Tree ice bucket so I just put a piece of tape inside so it hangs right in the front and then I'm going to take uh, two pieces of this wax paper, this checkered wax paper. I'm going to overlap them so it's a little bit thicker and then place that right inside the ice bucket and now I can add my drinks and my ice. <laughs> For this last project, I'm starting out with two of these USA tag signs. I'm going to remove the three-dimensional stars and set those aside. This is going to be the back of my project, but I want it to lay flat, so I'm just going to remove them anyways. I'm going to cut off the twine at the top, turn them over, and now I'll be decorating the back of these. I'm taking some Waverly white chalk paint and a foam brush. I'm going to start painting both of my tags with two full coats of the white chalk paint and continue doing that all the way down. Do the same thing to my second tag. Now I'm going to take my remaining wooden ruler, peel off those measurements. I'm going to figure out from the top how long I need my ruler to be and then cut that. 
And now I'm going to be spelling out market. So I was just showing you the letters for market that I had colored with the black Sharpie. And I'm placing those in the center of the ruler. Now I'm going to take these other five favor boxes. These are the striped pattern. I'm going to once again cut the bottom off and then cut along the side where the bag uh, lining is and then open it. And when you open it, it already fans out to kind of that really nice um, kind of hanging curtain effect. So I'm trimming it down a little bit, still keeping the curve. I'm going to use my glue stick again to apply a really good amount of the glue and then place this on my tag right under the hanging uh, hole portion there at the top. I'm then going to trim around the sides and the edges and now I'm going to apply hot glue to the back of my market sign I just made and place that right at the top. And now with my second tag that I painted white, I am applying my glue stick all over and taking one sheet of that wax paper and uh, pressing down to get the wrinkles out and then trimming the ends. Now I'm going to take this brown hat and start unraveling. I think I did two full unravels and I'm making a, a little pie decoration here. So I am going to be using this brown material for the lines in my pie. So I'm cutting out six equal pieces of those. I'm going to put a line of hot glue down the center and then uh, I'm the way that you will see me laying these down is so the uh, effect at the end looks like it's woven like it's a weave pattern so all of these are glued down I'm just showing you the order in which I glued them to give it that really cool kind of pie weave look to it and then I just put the extra piece around uh, the perimeter there just to make it look finished I also took six more of the acrylic red gems and applied those almost in like a flower pattern to the center those are gonna be my cherries now I took this red wire and you see it's kind of like a slinky when you unravel it. And pretty much what I want to do is spell out the word cherry. So I am working with the curve of the wire and I'm spelling it out in cursive. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. It's kind of your preference. You just got to play around with it. But what's good about this uh, wire is that it's very uh, flexible. So you do have options to kind of move it around. If you don't like the way something looks, you can switch it very easily. So I'm doing C-H-E right here, working on an R, and just spelling out the word cherry. And now I uh, thought that I would apply <laughs> the word fresh pies underneath market. So I colored those uh, letters in black also and then attached my pie tin and now I'm attaching my cherry sign. I'm putting glue just where the portions of the wire will meet onto the tag. And then I didn't want to lose the look of the round top of the tag so I'm just outlining that in black sharpie. I'm going to attach the pie sign to the checkered sign kind of at an angle a little bit making sure that the holes still match up. And now I'm going to take one of these metal signs and just knot some of the twine it comes with and glue that to the uh, portion of the checkered background there. And then I just colored in with my Sharpie a dollar sign and the number four. Gotta give homage to my four quarter crafts. <laughs> but here's how my sign turned out. you enjoyed these DIY crafts. If you do like the concept of the hauls as like a before and the crafts as an after, let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!